change began when Pakistan's religious party coalition, the MMA, won elections to head the Northwest Frontier Provincial Legislature in October 2002. They banned public performances of music and singing. Music halls and shops were shut, and musicians could only practice behind closed doors, as a worried public canceled their bookings. Public bonfires of records and tapes, organized by police, reminded many of the days of Taliban rule in neighboring Afghanistan. Music is all that's discouraged by the uh, mullahs, I mean the religious scholars. So I don't know why uh, uh, Islam is a very natural religion. So, um, and we have some religious tradition in which music is a must. But um, since very long, they have been saying that uh, music is haram and music is uh, the, 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 the work of a devil. Anthropologists say such attitudes prevail because unlike many other nations, Pakistan has failed to value its musical heritage. It's very important that um, the folk musicians, they should be respected, encouraged and understood as artists, not just, you know, anyone playing some sort of a music because they are playing a very meaningful role in our society and like different kinds of music would continue to exist but if folk music is lost once I think it would be very difficult to revive it. We have so many rare uh, orchestras, compositions there is different kind of music which nowadays nobody can play. So they are dying. You have to preserve it. You have to record it.